My name is Jan Willem Gunning. I'm working for Delchem in, uh, in Birmingham and uh, it's my happy uh, task to coordinate uh, this project, this fascinating project about uh, using uh, robots for uh, machining operations. When you look at current manufacturing uh, machines, uh, normally milling machines or turning machines, they are quite expensive and can only be used for one operation. With the robot, as you see over here, you can be quite flexible and you can do uh, several operations. So you have a one, uh, one investment and you can use it for multiple uh, operations. So that will be an enormous uh, cost reduction. At the moment, especially small companies, they, they either buy a five-axis machine or a handling robot. And if we can bring the two things together, we, we can give them uh, both and make them more productive, more competitive. We're developing end-user applications for the aerospace industry. That's where we heavily work. It's the sector we heavily work in, aerospace. So what we're looking to do is take the, the Comet project and the software involved, apply it to one of the robot arms and use it as a deburring process for um, current aerospace part projects. One of our measurement systems is uh, very suitable for tracking motions and correcting motions, uh, for instance, of a robot. So our involvement is to make machining on a robot more accurate by tracking its position of the end effector of the robot and by sending the corrections back to the controller. In the Comet project, we are involved in, uh, as an end user to make experiments on uh, high precision, mostly uh, um, materials for uh, milling of, with robots. We are constantly searching for new processes that we can deal with with robot systems and milling processes or machining processes in general are very interesting there because the robot offers a lot of advantages, for example price or working area, but there are also some, some yeah, things we have to overcome, we need to do development for. We're going to be incorporated also with uh, Bazigos to make this kind of uh, experiments and give those uh, analysis, let's say, to, uh, to Delcam and uh, software to all uh, companies that are involved. One of the things we already uh, have as an application for the robot is uh, machining molds for uh, carbon fiber uh, uh, structures and the uh, robot with, with its agility is, is, uh, is ideal for that. Now, as a company we always try to provide solutions for uh, our customers that are innovative and uh, making them work more efficient and effective and in that way stay uh, competitive when looking to the, uh, to the competition outside Europe. And we think that by uh, using uh, robots for machining operations uh, the European manufacturing industry can even be more competitive than we are already at the moment. If uh, the project succeeds to uh, accomplish its objectives, it will bring a big innovation in the manufacturing sector in European industries, since it will reduce significantly uh, the machining cost operations. This type of projects where you bring together competencies from different parts of Europe, and often it's, it's new partners, they, they come, out with, come in with both new solutions but also new problems and together we can uh, complement each other and, and find uh, new solutions. We can be very lucky with the partnership. It's always difficult, not everybody is knowing each other, but we have a uh, yeah, partnership from all over Europe. You have cultural differences, but it seems to work out quite well with all the people, people phoning each other, they are in contact every uh, two weeks to discuss progress. We're having our meetings uh, every uh, three months. And yeah, besides the technical achievements, it's also very nice to see that the people from all over Europe get along very well together. And that's one of the additional benefits of these projects, that people from Sweden understand the Dutch, that the Dutch understand the Portuguese people. And then finally, maybe once in a lifetime, we can become one Europe.